Methods of Weed Management As with diseases and pests, there are different ways of handling weeds. Recall that these methods include Biological controls. They use living organisms such as predators, pathogens, genetically modified variants, pheromones, or resistant crop strains to control crop weeds. Cultural controls involve modifications of location, timing, and agricultural choices to control crop weeds. Chemical controls involve the use of agrochemicals to control crop weeds. And finally, mechanical controls involve direct intervention in crop weed control. To determine which approach you should use, consider the weed, its growing patterns, and its potential to impact your crops. Your resources, that is, your stock of agrochemicals, labor, etc. Your crop's health and maturity. And finally, the growing season. The preventative approach involves eliminating or limiting the incidence of weed infestation in your crop fields. Possible preventative actions include biological, introducing or encouraging natural predators or pathogens of the species of potentially encroaching weed, or use of resistant strains and or genetically modified crops. Chemical, depending on the weed, crop, and agrochemical, application of selective or non-selective herbicides may prevent weed germination. Cultural, quarantine of plants and animals, crop sequence, crop rotation and fallow management, farm sanitation and hygiene, slashing or otherwise removing weed stands, considering weeds in your decision about which plants to grow, when you will sow or plant, and where you will cultivate, use of resistant crop strains or soil alterations inhospitable to weeds, and frequent follow-up. Eradicating weeds, while theoretically good for crops, is unadvisable for the following reasons. Even if desired, it is almost impossible to achieve in an agricultural setting. Complete removal would be extremely expensive. Eradicating weeds disrupts the natural ecosystem, which does not benefit the crops. The methods used to eradicate would negatively impact crop growth and yield, possibly leading to complete crop failure. Controlling weeds involves suppressing weed populations to low or at least tolerable levels that remain safe and effective for agriculture. This approach allows for environmentally conscious weed control. Possible methods include shifting cultivation, land preparation and crop rotation, mixed cropping, intercropping, using mulch or soil cover, agricultural sanitation, and including the cleaning of seeds and tools and examining soil and water for weeds or contaminants. Mechanical methods for controlling weeds, hand or machine weeding and or hoeing, smothering with mulch or soil cover, tilling, slashing, mowing, flooding, or burning. And chemical methods, use of herbicides, selective or non-selective, at toxic concentrations to kill or suppress weed growth. Herbicides can be applied at different times in crop or weed growth. Please note, most chemical weed controls are not specifically designed for or researched in tropical or neotropical areas. Biological methods, the use of bioagents, such as predators, parasites, and pathogens. Directed or preferential grazing cover cropping of food and non-food species. Alleopathy, that's the release of chemicals by one plant to stunt or suppress growth of the others. Use of live mulching and crop manipulation. Biological controls such as the above can shift weed species and or impact ecosystems. Like integrated pest management, integrated weed management or IWM involves a combination of two or more weed prevention, treatment, or control methods. Combining methods lessens the need for expensive or expansive use of one approach. IWM is generally the most economically and environmentally sensible option to optimize crop growth and yield. So here we have the noxious weeds, and we don't want all of them. We want our desired vegetation. And here's some of the controls we just talked about. Right, there's physical, chemical, biological, 
So please uh, pause this for a second, take a look at the different methods there, and then move on when you're ready.